Okay, so our topic for today for week 8 and 9 will be about the SQL, MySQL joins. So the question is, why do we perform joins? So as what you see in our previous discussions, our tables are, uh, we have the, uh, many tables in our database and these tables are interrelated. Okay, so to perform a join in which, or to perform a SQL commands in which the records are from different table lo locations, we need to do MySQL joins. So joins is a relational database, consists of multiple related tables, as what I have mentioned, linking together using common columns, which are known as the foreign key. Okay, so we use the foreign key as our bridge so that we can relate records from one table to another. So in my example, in the hospital database, the admission table is related to patient because it is the patient um, that makes admission. Okay, So in the admission table, we do not write the entire name of the patient only the patient id so when we would like to know what is the details of that patient we just perform um, mysql joins so because of this data in each table is incomplete from the business perspective so it is used to retrieve data from multiple tables so it is performed whenever you need to fetch record from two or more tables so there are join commands in which um, it involves two tables, three tables, four tables, depending upon the kind of data that you would like to output. So the one that I said a while ago, um, joining admission and patient, that would mean um, two tables. And um, if you are going to join admission, patient, and doctor, that would be three tables. So that would make your SQL command a little bit long because, of course, you need to retrieve those um, records from three tables. So later, I will be demonstrating to you how to do that one. Um, there are four MySQL join types here in the same cross, inner, left, and then right. So this um, MySQL join commands, it has its own characteristics and there are perfect times in which we are going to use this SQL join commands. But among these four, what is commonly used is inner join. Okay, so later on, we will get to know inner, inner join. And my demo for this morning will be on inner join only. So we'll just um, study the characteristics of cross, left, and right. And um, this inner join, ito yung gagamitin nyo sa inyuhang um, third lab exam for your final project. So next, what is this cross join? So cross join makes a partition product of rows from multiple tables. Suppose you are going to join um, table 1 and table 2 using the cross join. So the result set will include the combination of rows from the table 1 or T1 and with the rows in table 2 or T2. So that is using their foreign key and primary key in the other side of the table. So you can only directly join actually records if they have common keys so here this is the um graphical representation of cartesian or the cross join so cartesian product to understand how processes join um, it is important to understand the concept of the cartesian product so a query that lists multiple tables from in the from clause, without a where clause, produce, produces all possible combinations of rows from all tables. So this result is called the Cartesian product. So you look at this one. We have what we call 
um, table 1 and then table 2. So, we have here select asterisk from 1, comma 2. So, asterisk here represents all of the columns in table 1 and then table 2. So, table 1 has attributes X, A, X and A and table 2 has attributes X and B. So, when you So, this will be the result set. So, all in all, there will be nine result sets, a combination of three records in table one and three records in table two. So, that makes like this one class. Okay. So, that is the Cartesian product. So, that would generate nine records. So, the number of rows in Cartesian product is the product of the number of rows in the contributing table. So, 3 by 3, that is 9. So, how many rows are returned from this query? So, if you have tables 3 and table 4, and 3 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and table 4 has 1, 2, 3, 4, so, um, the result will be 20. Okay? So, because 5 here in table um, 3 and 4 here in table 4. Ang basabot ng 5 and 4 are the records in the table. So, that's 5 by 4 is 20. So, that is the, I mean, the Cartesian product class. So, to perform cross-join, um, you use the cross-join clause as the following statement. So, this is um, the format in writing a SQL command using the cross-join. So, of course, you need the select keyword followed by the columns in which you would like to join. And then your from keyword, um, table 1. Cross-join table 2. So, that is how you do cross-join. So, murag ingon ani siya class. Kani nga sample kani siya. Only is that wala ni nakalagay din nga cross-join kay um, Cartesian. Uh, Demonstrated siya o Cartesian product. Okay, so that is cross-join. Next naman is inner join. To form an inner join, you need a condition which is known as the join predicate. So, this one. So, an inner join requires rows in the two tables to have matching column values. So, I will repeat, an inner join requires rows in the joint tables to have matching column values. So, muna ito na ay foreign key. Okay? So, examples, admission of the patient, if you would like to join them, then these two tables must have a common key, which is the patient ID. So, the patient ID that is a primary key in the patient table, in the admission table, that becomes a foreign key. So, that is your common key between admission and then patient. So, the inner join creates a result set by combining column values of two join tables based on the join predicate. So, kung unsay mo match base dito sa imong join predicate, so that will become your result set. Okay? Result set or the result of your SQL command after joining your um, tables. To join two tables, the inner join compares each row in the first table with each row in the second table to find pairs of rows that satisfy the join predicate. So, whenever the join predicate is satisfied by matching non-null values, so take note, non-null values mean to say non-empty values. So, column values for each match pair of rows of the two tables are included in the result set. So, here we have an example, two tables, which I call table 1 and then table 2. So, we are going to join them. So, this is what you're going to do. You write the select keyword followed by the columns from the two tables in which, um, i-combine 
because for you it has a meaningful meaning or there are this group of users that needs this result set so mamaya do not worry class kung medyo karon ah ma unsa ning gipangingon ni ma'am mamaya i'll be giving you a demonstration about this para mas masabtan siya okay, i will repeat select keyword then the columns that you would like to output from keyword then table 1 inner join table 2 so sa akong sample kaganiha from admission inner join patient on table 1 dot attribute is equal to table 2 dot attribute so what you're going to write here are the common keys between um the common keys between admission and patient which is patient id so mo man yung giingon dire class o So, mauna yung giingon dire class o. Create result set by combining common values of two joint tables. So, ang, um, ang common values between admission and patient is patient ID. Okay? So, that is um, inner join. That's the concept of inner join. So, meaning to say... Um, you were able to combine values from different tables. So you will better understand the records. So next to this one class is left join. So similar to an inner join, a left join also requires a join predicate. So joining two tables using a left join, the concept of a left table and right table are introduced. So kaganiha, ay na, there is a ano, demonstration. Kani table 1, this is the left table and then the table 2 is the right table. So kung ibutang na sa tong from clause, magutang na from admission, kama, patient. Sa admission karon ang left, si patient ang right. So depende sa imuhang sequence sa pagsulat sa imuhang tables. So, unlike inner join, a left join returns all rows in the left table, including rows that satisfy join predicate and, and rows that do not. Okay, so, mo'na ka difference nila. Kasi si inner join man god, only matching values. So, but kini siya, apilo niya kahit it doesn't satisfy your join predicate. So, for the rows that do not match the joint predicate, nulls appear in the columns at the right table in the result set. So, kasi nga, wala man siya nakakita og match. And therefore, that is null. So, mura ba og, na ako gisulat ng patient ID in the admission table, but there is no matching um, patient record in the patient table. So, kahit ingon ana siya class na anomaly, uh, si inner join, iyang i-display gihapon ang, uh, ang, ang, kuan, ang record. Pero that's nice also kay, you can see nga, oh, how come that I have this patient ID here and um, it doesn't appear in the related table. So, that's the beauty also of left join. Next is the right join. So, the right join is similar to the left join except that the treatment of tables is reverse. So, with the right join, every row from the right table here, so this is table 2, this is the right, will appear in the result set. So, ang yung basis is the table in the right. So, we got admission, comma, patient, the basis is the patient. Uh, so, this is how you are going to write it. Select columns. So, list of columns. And these columns are from table 1 and table 2. So, from table 1, right join table 2 on common key na dahi nila class. Okay? So, parehas lang concept. Pag about dire. Parehas concept sa inner join. Pag about dire sa ano. Pag join ni mo. In which you need the common key of the related tables. Okay? So, for the rows, I 
uh, nalaktawan din ako din. For the rows in the right table that do not have the matching rows in the left table, nulls appear for columns in the left table. So, example, if you were able to input a patient record in which it does not have any admission record, then it will be displayed also. So, giving null. So, ganyan rin si right join. Ayan, so that is how short the seam. Kaya ingan ko sa inyo ha, class, itong seam na to, medyo try door itong seam na to, it's just very short. But um, its application is very long. Do you have any questions or you wait for me to demonstrate inner join before you are going to raise your questions? Class. Ano ba yung decision? Do you have questions now? Hello? Nan, ma'am. O sige, kasi baka, oh, okay, ma'am. I'm trying to, ano, understand things. Uh, trying to understand the concept. So, but, um, the topic for today is about joining from one table to joining records from one table to another. So yan lang yung dapat nyo maintindihan for today. Ah, no, for, for that particular scene. So if you do not have questions, I'll proceed with the demonstration of the application of inner join. So ingon ko kanina, apat yon cross inner left tsaka right but our focus here is inner join ito yung gagamitin nyo sa project ninyo okay so i'll stop sharing because i'll be sharing the entire screen kay uh, medyo mahaba yung biyahe natin for today and actually class ito yung topic na i love when it comes to information management uh, joining queries kasi we will be playing with um, logic sige so before i will start with my demo in sql um, i would like you to go, i would like to go to week 8 So, nakita nyo yung week 8 class, may hospital database at saka may SIM. So, please download this hospital database. This is what we will be using today. And for your let's check and your let's analyze, yun yung gagawin nyo. Okay? Did you download it? So, it's a text file. So, I'll show to you... The text file, ah, this one. So, diba, this is not new to you. I have introduced this database in our previous discussion. So, we have here tables, medicine, patient, doctor, admission, and then prescription. And this tables, of course, it has mga fields. And then I have already inserted records here so for medicine i have okay kasi ga delete man ako dito 16 15 14 13 12 so i have 17 records in the medicine table in the patient table i have 12 in the doctor table i have 5 admission i have 14 and prescription i have 14 also though um this table, if you are going to refine further this one, you can create uh, more tables, but just to demonstrate the concept of MySQL joins, we'll, have just, we'll just have this design. Okay? And then, kasi mahirap to intindihin kasi nasa physical design na siya. So, we'll have the, this design, the entity relationship diagram. Okay, so can you see the entity relationship diagram class? 
Kita ba yung screen ko? Kaya hindi turn on your mic, I will not switch screen. Yes, ma'am. Ma okay, thank you. So, I have here five tables or five entities kasi na ata karon sa ERD. So, if you are going to read this one, so a uh, patient makes admission. Okay? So, we have here fields. Oh, wala to. So, I have to emit this one. So, patient ID, first name, middle name, last name. But I am not sure if I have put here all of the fields. So, tingnan nyo na lang mamaya doon sa physical design. So, might be for um, for demonstration purposes, I did not put all of the attributes. Okay. So, a patient makes one or more admission. So, we have here admission um, entity, admission number as, as its key attribute, admission date, and illness and room number. So, kabalo naman mo, class, no? Nga. We do not write here the patient ID. Kaya dito mo na to siya ibutang sa itong logical design, no? Katang maging mo na tag-relation. So, here, we can see that um, admission and patient tables, they are related. So, of course, in the logical design, pagagawa na tayo ng relation, sa so admission should have patient ID. Right, class? And then here also, in every admission of the patient, there is an assigned doctor. So in this um, ERD, there is only one and only one doctor. Though in the real world, world there, there could be many doctor, but for simplicity na lang, para we can easily do or create our MySQL joints, we just have here one and only one doctor. Now, each doctor could attend uh, zero or many admission. So, isa ka doctor in the real world, of course, pwede na siya wala or daghan o admission. Now, in every admission, um, of course, the doctor makes a prescription as to what medicines that will be given to the patient. So, one to many ihang relationship. So, each admission could have one or many prescriptions. So, in each prescription, there could be zero or many medicine. Actually, pwede ka many to many here. But for simplicity, I, again. Okay? So, this is our entity relationship diagram. So, kung himuan na to siya logical design, ang ma-change diri class is the admission table lang because putangan na to siya patient ID tapos doctor ID. Okay? And dito, para uh, mamaya, I will uh, will not be having a hard time demonstrating my SQL join. So, eto na lang nilagay ko na lang siya dito. But, um, actually, kung nasa... Uh, ERD tayo, we can have here many to many, tapos there will be an attribute of out of the relationship between admission and medicine. Okay, which is dosage. So this is our ERD and then I just assume uh, there is already a logical design and which are, which are the relations. So from here, um, motong hospital nga physical design class atong text file nga ako ang ipakita sa inyo kanina. Okay, so also, ayan. Can you see this one class? Um, MySQL console environment. So, katong text file that I have uploaded in the sim. I'm only siya sulod sa text file. So, I just pasted it here. No, The name of the database is hospital. And there are tables, medicine, patient, doctor, admission, and then prescription. So, yan. So, here's admission, admission number, admission date, patient ID, doctor ID. 
So, na ay patient ID, na ay doctor ID. Because in our ERD here, yan, related man si um, patient sa kasi doctor. Kaya we put it here. Okay? Da, kaya may, mayroon tayong patient ID at doctor ID dito sa ating physical design here. Ana. So under our records inserted, the one that I have demonstrated a while ago. Okay? Now class whenever you are going to do um joining of queries in my SQL, it's very important that you know the relationships of the tables. Kaya you go back to your EID or you look at your um, relations and uh, as to how your um, relations are related to each other. Okay, so assuming our task here is to display the admission record of the patient. So assuming we are going to display admission number, admission date, patient ID, um, patient first name, patient last name, and then the illness of the patient. So assuming we are going to do a query like that. So how will our my SQL command would look like? So that will be the question. Okay, so uh, atong isula to, ato ang um, activity to do, ha? So wait lang. Naasa po i... Naasa ko yung i-open na file. Feel free to interrupt me, class, um, kung naan mo yung question after my presentation. So, example, naan ako yung na-present nga command, tapos you have questions, you can um, interrupt me and ask questions. So, wait lang. First, Sam. Um, where is that information management? Wait lang, class, ha? Information management. Ang haba naman ito. Ah, ito na lang siya. So, I'll open a Word document. I know, not a Word document. Wait, class, ha? Sorry. Um, want... Kung saan lang yung size nito, 36. Ayan, para maklaro ninyo siya. Ay, steam up. Ayan. Sige, share screen ulit ako. Enter screen. So, do you see a text file class? Kindly turn on your mic para rin ako mag-switch screen. Do you see a text file? Yes, po, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so the the task class is you're going to create 
a query in which you are going to display the admission number, the admission date, um, the patient ID, and then the first name and last name of the patient admitted. Okay, so more instructions ay muhang um, boss kindly display to me the admission number, admission date, patient ID, the first name of the patient, and then the last name of the patient. So if you are going to look at this, admission number, admission date, patient ID, first name, and last name. So these um, fields here, they do not come from a single table. Asa siya gikan ng mga tables class. So it's from admission and from patient table. Though if you are going to look at the um, physical design here, Yan, ito yung si admission, di ba? So, ito yung hiningi, admission number, admission date, patient ID, tsaka first name and last name ng patient. So, if you're going to look at the admission table, hala, wala mang first name and last name ng patient dito. So, where can we find the first name and the last name of the patient? So, when you, when you, look, uh, when you examine your database design, you were able to find out that it's from the patient table. And the fields for first name and last name are LN and FN. So the next thing that you are going to do now is to identify what is this common key between admission and patient. Diba yan yung sinabi ng SIM kanina? The common key of the um, relations or the tables that you are going to join. So, di ba? Yung common key nila, o, oh, si admission na patient ID. So, si patient naman may patient ID. So, meaning to say, ito yung gagamitin, gagamitin mo mamaya sa pag-join mo ng query. So, let's go back. So, uh, here, I have prepared already. So, ang yung giingon admission number. Nakaspell out talaga siya class ng admission number. Kasi this is an instruction from the human. But, pag tanaw ni mo ron diri sa imong table, ah, admission number, Admission non, as siya dress ako ang physical design. Admission date, that is EDM date. Patient ID is patient ID. And the first name is, kung sa itong first name kanina, dun sa patient table, what's the field? Guys, ano nga yung field ganina sa patient table? Wala, uy, mingaw man ka ayo. Tanaw daw ko sa chat box kung nabay ga-answer. Walay ga-answer. Naka-off ba akong mic? Hindi naman naka-off yung mic ko. Ano nga yung... Ano nga yung field name ng first name at saka last name sa patient table class? Oh, the answer is there in the screen. Can you turn on your mic na lang para din ako mag-switch ng screen? Ano yung field ng first name at saka last name ng patient? LN saka FN, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, mapatingo kung isudyante. How about the others? Why do you do not write your answers in the chat box? Is my... Question, difficult or so easy that you wouldn't like to answer? Huh? Please participate in our discussion. Okay, basi ma, ano ko dere nga, wala na ko isudyante. Okay, so let's go back to the text file. So, right here, FN, comma, LN. So, you are going to separate the fields here with a comma. But class, um, if you notice, patient ID, this exists both in the patient table and in the admission table. So what you do is you prefix with it with A, that patient ID. So asagi ka ng A class, 
Asa gikan ang A? Anyone? Asa gikan ang A? Sige, I am waiting for your answer. Asa gikan tong A? A, that patient ID. Sa admission, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Acel. Sa admission. So, meaning to say, Acel, A there is an alias for admission. Kasi it's too long to write the word admission. So, we can shortcut it with A. Okay? So, imagine ako, magsigigag type, admission, that patient ID. So, here we have from admission A, inner join patient P. On A that patient ID equal to P that patient ID. So here, naghimo lang tag alias ni admission o alias ni patient. Though actually, um, you may omit this one. Okay, ling uh, okay rin naman siya. But kapoy kasi si type no admission and patient. So that would be uh, that would waste time, and we wouldn't want that because we are excited to see the output. Okay, so. Again, this is optional, um, creating an alias. But ako, I always do this one. I do this one. Okay, so we'll copy this one and then paste it here in the console. Paste. So, ano nga yung error na sinabi niya? Sele Ay, kasi kulang yung S ng select. Hindi ko na-appeal. Ano, wala na ako na-appeal. Appeal lagi siya sa highlight. Ayan. Oh, you see class? Do you see the output? Mas zoom ba na ako niya? Dili na yun ako siya mas zoom. Makita ba siya yung screen ang output? Yes, ma'am. Mm, okay, thank you. So, na admission number here, admission date, patient ID, then FNLN. Okay? So, you were able to join admission and patient. Okay? So, that is the beauty of inner join. You can reference related records from the table. From the related table and that is made possible using the common key the foreign key and then the primary key in both sides of the table okay so kasi nga yung sa design natin sa admission it's ganito man yung design natin sa admission no patient id lang yung nakalagay but the first name and the last name of the patient is not written here in our admission table. So, may ingon mo, ay ma'am, dili na lang din na ito na i-ano, bulagon. Okay? We'll just have one table na lang di, admission na lang di, and that is where we are going to write the patient name. Okay? So, that is a bad database design. Okay, imagine if that patient will be readmitted, you have to encode again the name of the patient. And aside from that, O katulad mo na siya mga anomaly nga gidiscuss nato in the previous yellow. And aside from that, um, that would uh, make your admission record very large. Okay? And if it's very large, that will um, slow the performance of your SQL command kasi nga um, malaki yung table mo. Okay? So that's the reason why we will split them. Kaya nga, um, tawag sa ate, uh, tawag dito is Relational Database Management System. Relations or the tables are related. Okay? So, if the tables are related, um, records are being referenced. Okay? Question so far? Ano yung question nyo, class, na deklaro sa discussion ko? Sige, dilita tanaw, oh. So, unsa may naadari nga dili klaro? Okay, question class. Hmm. 
May question ba tayo? Ako ang mga let's analyze let's, let's check ninyo ani on ani lang display the admission number. Okay? And then your answer will be a SQL command this one and then of course you have to show to me that this um SQL command is correct through a screenshot ninyo yung output uh, just like what you did in your previous hands-on activities. So mamaya, I'll be giving you activities, maraming activities, and we will be using the hospital database. Or it might be I'll be posting another database para mas marami yung ano, practice test nyo. Wala question class? Hello? Na ay question wala. Nan ako ma'am. How about the others? Nasabda ni siya Isel kasi Isel ganan. So you understand my discussion Isel? No, sa left and right join na lang. Okay, sige. Um, I'll check my table mamaya if my admission and my patient table, kung na ba ko'y empty dito nga mga or mga field value like being patient ID P0018 in the admission table in which it doesn't exist in the um, patient table. So, pwede kasi natin siya magamit as sample ng left join. And probably um, sa right join, Meron naman siguro akong patient doon in which it is not being admitted. Kasi di ba yung ASL, yung discussion ka kanina, ako kanina sa um, left and right join, di ba? It, will, it, it works in the same way with inner join. Only is that it will include a, a value in which it is null. Ano lang itong difference nila. Sige, so I'll be posting another example and I'll make our um, SQL command a little bit long. Okay, so I'll put a where clause on our uh, my SQL join. So to make our command more specific, no? Kasi dito kasi it displays all of the records in the admission table. So, kung dito sa ano, sa sample ko, I only have few admission records. But in the real world, in the hospital, if you do a command like this, it would take long to roll, to roll the output of your query. Kay labi na ang hospital, it's there for 20 years. Sus kadagang kaya sa admission record niya yung i-display, no? So we can actually um, trim down or narrow down our um, join command by putting a where clause. Example, where we are going to display the record of the patient whose last name is Soto. So we can have p.ln equal to Soto. I hope the single code works here. Nabay Soto sa patient. LN. Ayan, mayroong Soto, si Vic Soto. O, oh, diba? So, so, don't expect from me, nga, nakikorean nga, ano, um, unknown column, Soto. Meron namang Soto. Where... Uh, kasi paayaw niya ng ganyan. Ayan. So, kaya sabi ko kanina, I hope the single quote works. So, it's my text editor class. Uh, problem of my text editor. Kaya, uh, pag, um, from Word to the console environment of my SQL, di rin niya kilala yung double quote. 
So sa notepad, kaya maganda yung text editor na notepad for this kind of activity. So you see class, um, we're able to trim down our command. So from here, we're able to find out that, ay, kanina si Soto di ay kay na-admit na din siya og kaduha. So the date of the admission is um, Feb February 1 and January 3. Both in the year 2011. So, si Kli, si Soto in this time. So, tanaw na to kung unsay sakit ni Soto. So, at, uh, we are going to add uh, one more column here. So, illness man yung field para sa sakit, no? So, illness. So, lagay natin dito illness. Kaya, mahirap mag-navigate dito sa so console. So if you have that's why I always advise you to use a text editor. So enter. So ayan class we are able to learn nga si Soto pala um has been sickly in the year 2011 in the first quarter of 2011 and is illness illnesses are diabetes and asthma. Uh, 2011 pa kasi ni wala pa na uso ang covid. Okay? So that is how nice joining of queries is. Okay, next is, what if we would like to know who is this doctor attending to patient Soto? So, kasi dire, uh, kanina query, wala mo ta kabalugin sa iyang doctor. So, kung tanaw na to dire sa ito ang table, Si Soto. Saan na yung si Soto sa admission table? Ano yung patient ID ni Soto? Patient ID ni Soto. Wait ha. Uh, patient ID ni Soto, PX5. So tingnan natin sa admission table kung sino yung doctor ni PX5. So ang sinabi dito sa admission table, ah, si PX5, si DD5. Ang tanong, sino yan si DD5? We do not know who is DD5. Okay. So, this is what we would like to do. Um, so, ano yung text file ko? Dito, dito. So, we will add here last name of patient, tapos illness, and the full name. Full name of the doctor, of the patient, whose last name is Soto. So what if this is the um, the instruction that is given to you to generate a SQL join command in which it will do this instruction? So how will your commands will look like? Okay, so I will give you... Five minutes to answer this one. Actually, uh, five minutes is long. Kaya sumpayan na lang maninyo siya, class. So, what will be your join command? Kindly screenshot this one na lang. What is your join command? If this is the instruction, you need to include the full name of the doctor. So, pila ni siya kabuok tables related class. How many tables are we going to join? How many tables are we going to join? Three, ma'am. Three, correct. There are three tables. But how will your join commands will look like? Sige daw. I will wait for your answer in the chat box. Sige, kindly screenshot this one. And then, please send your answer in the chat box. Ay, naka-share naka screen pa ba ko, class? Wala na. Ay, naka-share screen pa ko. Please, screenshot this one, class. And then, kanisya, muna ako ang instruction sa inyo, ha? I just added the full name of the doctor of patient whose last name is Soto. And um, I just forgot who turn on the mic kanina, so sabi niya, tama siya, three 
relations or three tables need to be joined in order to have this kind of command or in order to answer this query. Sige ha, everyone must answer. So kung wala'y answer, wala tay attendance sa meaning to say, wala tay participation. Ah, nada tay attendance or recitation ang wala. Okay? So everybody must send their answer in the chat box. So, isa lang yung gidagdag, isang column lang. So, dito, sa select natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I have here 5. Ah, wala pa lang yung illness dito. 6. So, magiging 7 na siya, class, because you are going to include the name of the doctor. So, here, magiging 7. Tapos, uh, here, mag-add kayo ng one more table. So, let me see if you can do this without my sample. Na, tapos na mag-screenshot class. So, each one of you have 5 minutes, 11.15. Uh, should send your answer. And after you send your answers, I'm going to say who got the wrong answer or who got the correct answer. Ah, the correct answer na lang. Who got the correct answer. Then after that one, we'll have our break. Our water break. Bio break. So, mana screenshot, no? Mana pag screenshot? Very silent. Ma'am, pwede mo tanaw sa physical design, ma'am, about sa table sa doctor? Sure. Sure. Um, but actually, i-upload na ko niya sa itong LMS. So, this one... Ayan, ito o, oh, kay medyo ano siya. So, ito si admission. Sige, ito na lang. Describe. Bakit hindi ako makasa? Describe. Admission. Describe. Patient. Describe. Doctor. Ayan. Pali kong screenshot. Si oral recitation natin to class ha. For fourth grading oral recitation, kindly give me your answer. Correct or wrong, you have to try. So you have to empower yourself to try. Okay na ba? Sino yung nag-request kanina? So kindly screenshot one more time if you haven't screenshot yet.
Okay, two minutes more. And then you're going to send your answer. So, lahat ng present dito ha, mag-send ng answer. So, I only have three students present. All right. So kindly send your answer in the chat box. Sige, me meron na si. See how about the others? I will comment later. So thank you for your answer, Fernando. Illness, full name from admission A. Inner join patient P on A that patient. Sige. I am waiting for the answers of your classmate. Still typing, Raj and Michael. Fernando still have the chance to change your answer. From admission A, inner John, patient P. Ayan, pare-pareho lang kayo ng answer. How about Michael? I'm waiting for the answer of Michael. So, um, look at your answers, Fernando and Raj. Medyo kulang siya. Ayan, si Fernando, doctor from admission A, division P. So, ano na bago dito, Fernando? Select admission, division date, A, division A, F, N, L, N, illness, kama D, the doctor ID, kama full name, Hindi, dito sa inner join, dito kayo mali, Fernando and Raj. Kulang yan, di ba? Three relations yan, three tables. Di ba yun yung answer mo kanina, Raj? Three tables yan, admission, patient, saka doctor. Pero dito sa join nyo, if you are going to look at it, ang, ang na-join nyo, admission saka patient lang, walang doctor. So, kulang yan siya. You still want to try again? Yes, ma'am. Sige, try again.
Actually, makalingaw man siya nga, ano, para na ang activity. So, ano nga yung console ko? So, you want to try again or I'll just, I'll just answer it? Hindi, ay, wala na yung nasag. Okay, so if you would like to answer again, just post your answer in the chat box. So, i-paste ko yung sagot ha, para medyo madali tayo. Okay. So, look at this class. Can you see my answer on the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so ano yung kulang sa inyo from this answer? Doctor, right? Doctor table, ma'am. Oh, the doctor table. No? So, pagka yung anak class, kaya nga, before I let you answer kanina, I first um, show to you that this um, query is from three tables. So, ito siya, from admission. So, mag-join ka dun sa patient. Tapos, i-join mo rin yung doctor kasi nga tatlo. Okay? So, Dr. D. So, may alias ka. Admission, the alias is A. Si patient, yung alias is P. Si doctor, yung alias is D. Tapos, di ba kanina during the discussion, yung nakalagay sa SIM, they should have common key. So, ang may common key is admission at si patient. Ito siya class. Of course, you need the logical and operator. And then, ang common ni admission at ni doctor is doctor ID. Kaya you do that one. Okay? Ayan. So, you see, um, we were able to identify that the doctor of Soto for AD001 admission is Vista Avenida. And for the second admission is si Parangan Liz. Okay? Nakita niyo siya, class? Yes, ma'am. Nasabdan ba? Or naglibog mo? Kung saan ay nahitabok ninyo diha? Hello, kumusta na mo din na? So, Acel, nawala si Acel. Michael, are you there, Michael? Yes, ma'am. Hmm, wala na siya. Ano, ano, ano yun, Raj? Kaning alias good sa koan, ma'am. Kaning select admission. Kaning a.patient ID, ma'am. Oo. Uh -huh. Ang alias lagi anak is a, ma'am. Ay, yeah, because we, di ba si patient, they both exist in admission and in patient, right? Si patient ID. Di ba, ano, Raj? So, since ang main ni mga table, ani, is admission, that's why we use A. Because we would like to, uh, we are checking if this patient is admitted. Kasi na, patient record for not admitted. Okay, ma'am, thank you. Okay. So, if you notice, the rest of the columns also, it doesn't have any alias uh, like a.fn or a.ln or p.ln, um, p.fn. Um, the reason of that is, actually, it's fine not to put an alias, no, here, the reference table. Okay lang yan siya as long as that attribute does not belong to the other tables mentioned here. Example, can you see admission, can you see patient, or si doctor. So example, kung um, naatay field name nga unique siya from the three tables. Para si FN, wala man na si FN dito sa doctor, di ba? Wala po na siya sa admission. So my SQL will not be confused where to get the value of FN or LN. Because it's not common to the three tables. Only two patients lang siya nag-exist. 
That's why it's fine not to include A dot or P dot. Pero kanimang ko si patient ID, this exists both in the admission and in patient table. So, so that my SQL will not be confused where to get the patient ID, you are going to prefix it with the alias of the table where to get the value. Okay, common mong good siya. So, parit, I can see Dr. ID. D lang yung nakalagay kay Fernando. You can have A dot Dr. ID. So, meaning, ah, uh, oh, sige, to answer you further, magutang kag A dot Dr. ID. So, kwa o ni mo, sa ang Dr. ID, you get it from the admission table. So, meaning, kung uh, mag-empty na siya if there is no corresponding Dr. ID in the doctor table. Okay, so diha na nato magamit either si left or si right. Another question. Sige, I would appreciate if you are going to ask questions class. Okay, layo ko ba kay ta? Pila na kabok tables dire o sa ato ang ERD there are 5 na apa si prescription, na apa si Medicine table. So, medyo taas-taas yun ni ito ang kuan ani eh. Query kuman. Question? I'll try ha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that, Raj? Wala, ma'am. Okay. So, okay na ba? Nasabdan na ba ninyo? Okay, so next activity is this one. I'll be posting another um, scenario. Little ma'am, nasabdan little. <laughs> sige, sige. Okay lang na siya. Um, Nama mo may sequel sa inyong kwan, no? Sa at home or na asa net cafe. So asa ba mo nag-try sa inyong may sequel? So itry ninyo ni siya nga commands nga ako ang i-present karon. I will be posting the sample commands in our LMS also after the session. So yung saman, mag-water break sa ta? Bio break? Or we will proceed? Kaya nag-promise man ay ko bio break kanina. So ako mag-water break sa ko for few minutes. Mga 3 minutes, no? Chit lang ha. Okay, I'm back. Are you still there? Uy, di lagi mo maningog. Ano rin, nalibog na ko ninyo. Hindi mo maningog. Wala sa mood. Last, ano na ba nato ni? Last session na nato ni? Last um, lecture. 
na ni siya after this one, next week, kung ano ninyo, um, final exam yung next week, so sa lab exam, inyong i-present inyong mga answers, inyong um, project, I mean. So individual ni siya, presentation, so I will accept presentation from um, Tuesday to Thursday. Friday, um, tinghimo na siya grado sa Friday kay submission na day na. Kasi sa UM, um, submission day in four days lang. So, bawal ni mag um, extend sa inyong grado. So, dapat mahumanta sa presentation Thursday. Sige, I will proceed with another example. So, I have shared entire screen. Where is the text file? Text editor. Um, not this one. Where is the text file? Sige. So, what if our next task is to display the medicines prescribed by PX4? Sino ba yan si PX4 na yan? So, we are going to check. Oh, yeah, admitted si Dolphy Kizon. So, we are going to see what are the medicines prescribed for PX4. So, what do you think is your query command? So, the medicine prescribed. We are going to display med code, um, the name of the medicine, the generic, and then the dosage of patient PX4. Okay. Nakita ba ninyo how many tables are um, involved in this query? Pila ka tables? We are going to display med code, name, generic, dosage. How many tables are involved? Ma'am, gamay ka ayo, ma'am. Ah, gamay ka ayo. So, naka-entire screen ba ko? How about this one? So, yun yung i-display, med code. Uh, is this better? Raj, is this better? Yes, ma'am. So, med code, the name of the medicine, the generic of the medicine, uh, and the dosage of the medicine of patient PX4. Oh, wala na na akong ibutangan dira o patient Dolphy or patient Kizon para dili mo taas ang query. So, pila ni kabuk tables involved? So, si med code, si name, si generic, oh, from what table is this? Si dosage, pra, asa ni siya gikan nga table? Si PX4, asa ni siya gikan nga table? So, balik ta sa tuang table design. Siguro, ma'am. Pila ka buok? What is that, Ron? Sa medicine, sa prescription, and sa patient table. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you for your answer, Rog. Actually, um, tama yung first two answers mo sa, admish, uh, sa prescription, tsaka sa... Ano yung answers mo, Rog? Prescription? Prescription, medicine, and patient tables. Prescription, medicine, and patient table. 
So, ang mali lang doon ni Rods is um, yung PX4, it should not be taken from the patient table. Doon dapat sa admission, Rods. Kasi yung may relationship, si admission sa kasi prescription, ha? Tingnan natin, ha? So, that's why pag gagawa kayo ng ganito class, it's very important that um, you know the relationship of the tables. So, admission. Yan sa admission, no? Uh, describe um, prescription. Ayan. So, yung may relationship, si admission sa kasi prescription. Though, nag-mention tayo ng PX4 and it's right that it belongs to the patient table. But in this case, the patient ID must be taken from the admission table. Kasi ang um, concern man natin dito is uh, the admission details of the patient. Okay? Unless may ingon ko from um, patient key zone. Okay? So, kung patient key zone... Um, key zone is LN of patient and therefore we have to get it from the patient table. But kinanglan mo agi tadya this admission because admission uh, this is uh, related to table prescription. Wala may direct relationship si patient o si um, patient and prescription, right? Wala sa direct relationship. Mo agi gita sa admission table. Okay? Always put that one in your mind, no? Nga. Kailanglan, if you are going to make a query command, they must have relationship. They must have common key. So, kung mag-patient ta, wala may common key between patient and prescription. Right? Only admission and patient ang dunay common key. And admission and prescription. The same with medicine. Medicine does not have a direct relationship to admission, only to prescription. Okay? So, that one. So, what do you think is the query command for this one? Si ano yung query command nito? If you are going to the task kanina is to display med code, the name of the medicine, the generic of the medicine, and then the dosage of uh, dosage of medicine for patient PX4. So, eto yung sentatlo. This is from the medicine table. So, from medicine table yan sila. Medicine table yung red. Si dosage, so si dosage, kung tingnan natin dito, dosage is from the table prescription. Ito siya, class. This is from the table prescription. Okay? So, i-green natin siya, green. Galing siya sa um, prescription na table. So, green. So, si PX4, as I said a while ago, we have to get it from the admission table. So, it's from the admission table. So, yan yung gagawin mo pag mag-join of queries ka. You have to identify where are these attributes are located from what table are these attributes located or from what tables are these fields located then after you are going to identify the common key between your um, tables this one so sige identify natin class si medicine sa si prescription may common key ba sila so tingnan natin dito si Medicine sa kasi prescription. May common key ba? Ito yung prescription. Yan, ito siya. So, ano yung common key nila? Prescription sa medicine. May common ba dito? Med code, ma'am. Okay, correct. 
notes, med code, very good. So ilagay mo yan siya dito sa ano. So uh, you're going to write here medicine um ang common nila is med code. So si medicine saka si prescription ang common nila is med code. So na med code dire na apoy med code dire. How about admission? Asay dunay common si admission. Is it in the medicine? Na bay common key si medicine saka si admission. Admission and the medicine. We will see if naas like common key. Eto. Nabay common key. Si admission tsaka si medicine. Naawala. Yan. Ito si admission o. Oh. At tsaka ito si medicine. May common ba sila? Okay, wala sila yung common. So, di na ito siya isulat, no? Okay. But, on side dun ay common. Si, is it admission and prescription? Do they have common? Admission and prescription? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Which is admission number. Sila yung may relationship. Okay? So, meaning to say, you have to pass through prescription bridge so that you can relate it to medicine. So, may mga relationships class in which indirect sila. Indirect because you need to pass to another or at, to a table before you can get the relationship. So, may, si admission sa si medicine, no direct relationship. You need to pass to prescription. So, we are going to write here Hindi si medicine but si prescription. Yan. So, ang common key nila dito class is admission. Sorry, admission code ba yun? Kalimutan ko. Ano nga yun? Number, ma'am. Admission number. It's admission number. Ah. And oh, they know admission, no? Admission, no. And this one, admission no. Ayan. So, that's the common key. Okay? So, mo mo nag-iingon sa scene kanina. Okay? So, ang unahin natin is admission and prescription and then medicine and prescription. So, from here, we can create a query command. So, dirin na lang kung mag-type ha para di na tamo transfer o screen. Di na tamo screen. Switch screen. So, select med code. And if you notice, si med code is common between prescription and medicine. So, dapat mag-alias kita para di siya malibog. So, m.med code. So, dito siya sa ip.med code, I mean. So, we should have, we should pass here sa prescription. Okay, this is our table to reference to medicine. And then, for the name of the medicine, so, actually, we can just write name. Okay, wala may common si name to other tables. Then, generic. And then, dosage. Kung sa'yo sunod, ano yung class? We have listed already. Mid-code, name, generic, dosage. What's next? Mahaman to akong sample kanina pag mag-join. Ito ba yung sample ko kanina pag mag-join? Hindi, ito yun. So, ito yan siya, class O. So, balik lang ka. So, from admission A, inner join. So, from admission A, Inner join. So, asa gan i-related sa admission? Prescription. P. So, ito siya class. Dito taga-una class. Kaya mas una man si admission. 
before ka maka-abot kay prescription. Prescription P. Oh, what's next to this one? From the sample. Sunod, Ani. Inhibition. Hmm? Inhibition, ma'am. Condition? Hindi ko kadumo. Bungol-bungol ko. So, naara siya ang sunod. Mag-inner join ka sa ikatulo na pod. Okay? So, dili pa ka mag-on. On will happen after you have joined the three tables or the related tables. So, here you will write... Naka-entire screen ba ko, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Inner join. Ano nga yung inner join yung isa? Admission, prescription, tsaka medicine. Okay? Medicine M. Okay, what's next to this one? So, nahimo na nato ni siya, class. Oh, step, uh, this is step one. Can you step one is siya? Identify kung what are the related tables. Step two, identify common key. Step three, ay mong step three, ani, kay? Um... Mag-inner ka, mag join ka, inner join. Ano siya? Then step four, imuhang ka tong um, condition. Ano yung condition mo? Ah, yung on pala, predicate pala. Ayun, if there is where that is optional. Sige. So, anong next nito? In-join. Tapos na tayo number three. Next. Ano yung next? Number four. No, kinahanglan o sample. So, dito yung sample. Inner join, Dr. D. On. So, ito yung on class. On. Okay? So, here. On. Ano yung unang, unang on mo? So, dito tayo mag-start sa admission. So, A. Dot. So, ang common key nila is admission number. A dot admission number is equal to P dot admission number. Then, and M dot or P dot uh, med code is equal to um, m dot med code ito siya class so you, you follow these steps no pag on common key na naman ating number 2 on common key ko na lang ni butang step 2 so kung ano yung common key mo sa step 2 so imo lang siyang i-follow then, number five, the optional wear clause. So, tingnan natin dito. May wear clause ba? So, meron. Kaya niingo mo siya. For patient PX4. So, wear um, A dot um, patient ID is equal to PX4. Okay, so that is the answer. Uh, any comments? Na may, may narong ba ako ng encode or what? May naumit ba ako? Comments?
So I could not paste this because this is in Word actually, but I'll try kung di siya mag-error. Yan, mawala yun ang S select. Nga no, yun yun siya. Ini copy. O, ayan siya, class. Bioflow, may gawas mo. Hmm? O, yan. Bioflow yung ano... Nakareseta sa kanya. Oh. So, ang medicine niya kay M010. Dayon, Bioflu. Ang generic name niya kay Paracetamol, three times a day. So, M010. It's PS, uh, PX. So, i-check natin ha. Check natin. So, this, ano tayo? Select asterisk from admission. Select asterisk from prescription. Ayan. So, ano yung addition number ni PX4? Ah, dalawa pala yung ano, no? Yung... Ah, buti na lang. Isa lang dito. Buti na lang. Isa. So, AD009. So, AD009 yung ano ni PX4. So, na bone fracture pala siya. Nabalian ng buto. So... Nabalian ng buto, gihilantan siya, gi fever siya, gi ano yan dito sa Davao, gi kalintura siya pala kay nag bone fracture siya. Isa. Sige. So AD009. So tingnan natin dito sa prescription. Ano yung gamot ni AD009? Yan class oh, M010. Yun yung gamot niya. M010. Ito yung nakalag. Okay? So we will see kung ano yang M010. So select Asteris from medicine. Ayan. M010, bioflu, paracetamol, 500 milligrams. Okay? So, yan, na-trace natin. So, um, kita nyo, class. So, balikan natin ito. Yan, tama yung query natin, class. Tama yung query command natin. Okay? So you see, the command is very long, the output is very short, but it's very complex actually. The the process com is complex. The three tables are being joined in order to generate this kind of output. Okay. So palita natin yung PX. Kinsa ba patient rin yung kadaghan na admit? AD011. AD011. Sino yan? PX10. So, palitan natin ng PX10. Ayan. So, si PX10, na-admit si PX10. Ito siya, si PX10. Na-admit siya. Yung admission number niya is AD011. So, dito, since dalawa yung prescription niya, So, uh, dalawang beses na appear yung admission number. So, one to many man to siya, class. One, uh, one patient admission has many prescribed medicine. Tama naman, di ba? Kung mag-admit ka, um, seldom that you will just have one medicine prescribed to you. Example, kani bone fracture. So, in our, ano lang, in our table lang, wala lang gadag, uh, input o daghan ng mga medicine. But most likely, kung na'y bone fracture, na yung antibiotic, tapos na'y mga pain reliever, tapos pwede kasi mag-fever din siya, kaya may, meron siya, pwede na naman siguro paracetamol lang. Okay? So, dito naman, ano yung sakit niya? Si AD011, ano yung sakit ni patient? Ay, ectopic pregnancy. So, nag-ectopic pregnancy siya. Ano yung gamot na binigay? MZ05 and M017. M017. Oh, himustan. Okay? So, ito yung gamot na binigay, no? Dolphinal at himustan. So, pag kasi, nag-ectopic pregnancy siya. 
So, meaning to say, in pain, siya, you know, topic pregnancy class. It's pregnancy in the fallopian tube. So, that's very dangerous. So, kaya, so, pwede rin siyang nag, ano, nag bleeding siya, kaya binigyan siya ng himustan medicine. Okay? So, ayan. So, ito yung mga medicine na binigay sa kanya. So, pwede kasi, in an instance, pwede kasi sabihin, um, this patient, um, example, namatay yung patient. Ano? Example, that this patient is showing a symptom na nahihilo siya or difficulty in breathing. Uh, before pandemic, to class ha. So, difficulty in breathing, nahihilo siya. So, pwede i-check. Bakit? Ano ba yung mga medicines na get-prescribed sa kanya? Baka allergic siya sa medicine. So, titingnan to kung ano yung mga medicines na binigay sa patient. Okay? So, ito yung mga medicines na binigay sa kanya. So, next question. Ay, gitest ba kung allergy siya dyan? So, kung wala, no. So, itest. Baka allergy talaga siya. But actually, una naman dapat yung testing ng allergy before the medicine is given. Ako, mayroon din akong allergy sa medicine, yung pink na kulay na medicine. Uh, I just forgot the name of the medicine. Ah, erythromycin, erythromycin. Mga ganyan, class. Ano yung four dito, Michael? Kanina ba to Michael, how many columns? Oh, so, kumusta, class? How's the experience with joining of queries? Okay lang, ma'am. Ay, very good. So, meaning to say, naintindihan. Um, just make sure to follow the steps. Is this step helpful to you, class? This one? Kanisha, akong ibutang dari, oh. Step one, identify the tables where the fields listed are from. So, yan. Ito man siya, no? Ito yung mga fields. Ito yung fields na hiningi, na i-display daw. So, you have to identify where are these fields from. That's number one. The number two is to identify common key of the listed tables in number one. Yan yung gagawin. So mag-change color ako dito. Color coding ito. Ano ba yung color dapat dito? Ano pa yung hindi nagamit? Ayan. Ito yung mga steps. So, ito siya. So, number three, do inner join. Or join the tables by doing inner join. Number four, you do itong on. Number five, the optional where. So, tingnan mo sa problem kung may condition ba siya, nag-filter ba siya, pinili lang ba niya kung ano yung i-display. So, that will be your number five. So, just follow these five steps and then yeah, this will not become a problem kahit mahaba pa yung, ano, yung commands. So, kaya you have to have your ERD first para you can see the relationship, you do the physical design, and then um, it's easy to do. Uh, joining of queries. Relationship, knowing the relationship of the attributes is very important if you do joining of queries. How they are related, what are their common keys, it's very important. Sige, do you want me to post the steps or na screenshot nyo na? A post na, ma'am, thank you. Okay, sige. Sige, post. Sige, thank you. So, that will actually help you. Kay, imulang mo ito siyang sundun. Ah, itong giingon ni ma'am sa ganing to. Okay? 
So, I will be giving you five activities, ha? So, ang inyohang kuang class, last lecture man nato ni siya. So, sorry kung overtime ko gamay. Actually, naapo ko yung synchronous class uh, after your class. But since last synchronous nato ni siya nga class, eh, so that's why medyo mo overtime ko. But class, my line will be open um, tomorrow. My line will be open if in case you have some questions regarding your project. So, Tuesday, Thursday, my line will be open. So, mingon kung my line will be open, i-click lang ninyo ng, ah, sige, mag-himo kong post ng advising. Pero actually, class, if you notice, actually, si ano, sino nga yung student? Si Batigas. Alam niya na yung meeting code na ginagamit natin dito is isa lang, actually. Gina-repost-repost ko lang yan siya, class. Okay? So, just click on the meeting link. I will just open my, ano, Google Meet para kung na may question. Um, ma-answer diretso. Kaya usahay, lisod kayo mag-figure out sa inyong question sa chat. No? Sige, next nga akong i-demo ninyo. Stop sa kuha. Presentation. Hmm, ano nga yung website? Mockup. Are you familiar with mockup.com class? Mockups. Ano yung mockups na yun eh? Ito ba yun? Mock-ups. Hala. Dili pala po ako pwede mag-sign out. Diyos ko. Kasi kung mag-sign out ko dire, dili ko maka-open sa akong... Ako gusto ko mag-open sa kong TIP nga email. Kasi andun yung... Wala na po. I forgot about my TIP email. Andun yung mock-up sa TIP email ko. Ano kayong email ko doon? I forgot already. But, mock-ups. You are not familiar with mock-ups, no? Wait, ha. I-ano ko muna. Ano, masalap ko. Yeah, M-U-Q. M-O-Q. Mock-ups. Ano, ayun yung spelling at eh. So, kindly go to mock-ups.com class. Tapos, you create a free account in your mock-ups.com. Sige, ito na lang. Pero parang may mock oh, Already in use lagi. Meron na akong mock-up before. I just forgot the... Login na lang ako. Wait sa class ha. Ayan, may mock-ups.com na ako. Sige, mag-entire screen ko, class, ha? So, wala mo na kaila sa mockup.com. Um, umana mo ang HCI, class, 87L. Ano nga subject? Are you done with this one? Ah, wala pa. So, actually, ako man yung nag-handle ng HCI. Basta di lang conflict yung schedule. So, sa HCI, you are taught how to do prototyping. But since wala pa yung encounter, I will just introduce this to you now. Sige. So, mockups.com. Kasi gusto ko maghimo mo prototype sa inyong final project. Okay. Can you see the link in the chat box? Uh, click on that. Tapos, uh, just sign up. So, can you see my screen, my mock-up screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, there is a mock-ups.com class. Pwede ka maka-create o prototype. So, prototype sa interface. Kasi, akong gusto nga buha to new class is maghimo mo o prototype sa inyuhang interfaces, sa inyuhang project. Okay? So, saan nga yun? Pwede mo man siya i-search like text box. Uh, label na lang tao na label. Heist pa upgrade plan. Libre lang yung amin. Label. Example. Admission number. Wait. Bakit? Ano siya? Admission number. Wala ba yan dito sa text input? 
Admission number. Um, admission date. So, makahimok ang interface dili class as a prototype para um, I could figure out um, how your proposed solution will look like. So, kaya maghimok ang prototype dire. Okay? And then, uh, unyan na lang na ito na siya tarungon. Importante. Yan. So, admission number, admission date, dayon patient ID. So, this is derived from the admission table. Patient ID, dayon the label. Anyway, class, this is recorded. So, kung ano, kung you forgot what to do, uh, just review this video. Uh, first name. And then... Kasi mo naman nagipagamit na ako sa kong HCI para... Do ang uban gusto mag-adobe. Adobe XD. But ingon ko kung... Um, baka magkulang tayo sa resources so we'll just use this one first name and then last name ana siya tapos um sa admission ni siya class ha? illness Yan so gi join ra na ko siya class illness Wait, wait today so can actually erase this one um the boss you can create a header Eh kabayo Yeah, na header. Then you just have to center this one. Ayan. Okay? So, pagkahumanan ni siya class, sa inyong document actually, gusto ko nga na amoy yung aning interface. So, if you're going to look at your, the admission table, ang field dito class is admission number, admission date, patient ID, tapos illness, saka doctor ID. Pari nun, pari doctor ID. So, i-complete na lang ninyo ni siya class. Doctor ID. Doctor ID, tapos text input. So, kamo na yung bahala pag wapas sa inyong screen. And then, full name sa doctor. Full name sa doctor here. Full name sa doctor. Ayan. So by doing this, you are able to create an interface to your query command. Facebook daw na ako ni siya, kaya wala ko nakauyon. Okay, wait. Bakit ayaw niya sumama? In a way. Sige. So, ang mahita mo ang class is, inyo siyang screenshot. Inyo siyang screenshot class. Oh, wala lang na ako. Anyway. So, kanina siya. Example. Kanina screen. Pumansin ninyo siya sa inyong saan ang yung word file ko. Okay. So, ganito siya class. Ayan. Ito yung interface na new admission at ito yung corresponding query command. Okay? So, so that you can create an output like this when you are going to type admission number or patient last name. This is the corresponding query command class. So, lagyan natin select. Uh, ay, hindi pala ito yung query command. Saan yung kanina? 
Saan yung kanina? Hindi ito siya class. Yung sa kanina class. Yung first sample ko kanina. Yung pina-activity ko sa chat box. Saan na yun? Chat, uh, trace natin dito. Huwag yan lang doktor dyan. Sana yung may doktor. Ah, eto, eto. So, ito siya class. Hmm, sana yung word file ko. So, ito yung corresponding query command niya. Okay. So this is the interface and in order to display all the records in this interface, this is the corresponding query command. So that is the application of this query command to programming class. Hmm, kulang pa pala. May dosage ba dito? Full name, what is your name, what is ID, full name. So ano, ang kulang lang dito class EDM date, patient ID, P, F, N. So F, N, no. L, N, tapos, um, illness tama um, a dot doctor id tama oh ayan so this is the corresponding query command to display this output okay so pwede rin inyong lagihimuan dire at tumo sa inyong prototype butangan ninyo admission number ad001 or ad009 admission date Okay? Para mas maganda. So, I should see um, I should see two screens. So, example, pag mag many area ka naman, meron naman dito sa class sa many area. Table. EID model man to. Ah, parang ito talaga. Ayan, ito nga talaga. So, pwede natin siya palitan. Med code. Ay, wait. Med code. Tapos, name ng medicine. Generic. Not the data. Paano nga yung mag-add ng column dito? Edit ba yun? Insert column. Tapos dosage. Okay. So, eto can have uh, screenshot again. Command C. Then go back to your activity. Ayan siya, class. So, this is the interface. So, this is the output. So, meaning to say, combining the two, combining these two, will result to this interface. So, kung... Inyo lang siyang i-replace, class, ha? Katong medicine nga na, ah, dito sa kong sample. Ano nga yun? Med, oh, M, 0, 5 ba yun? Yung bioflu. Ayan, mag-replace lang kayo. Tapos, three times, ayun. Oh, naklik tuloy. In a way, sensitive yung ano. Ah, I-change lang type nito. Kasi maklik ko yung edit pala. Anyway, so, ayan class. Tapos, screenshot no siya. So, this is how your interface will look like. The entire interface. So, this is your solution to 
the um, design or this is the equivalent interface to your physical design to your MySQL design this is the equivalent interface question class okay ba masabtan ba ko in a way it will just give instructions for a third lab exam So, dili na ako magpa-lecture exam class. Yan na yung lab exam. Yan na yung lecture exam nyo. So, kung ano yung sagot nyo sa... Kasi I'll be asking questions during presentation. Kung ano yung magiging sagot nyo, I'll be asking five questions. Um, ten points each. Pero dili man yung mahirap yung mga questions ko class. So, like, um, what do you mean with one-to-many relationship? Where is one-to-many relationship in your presentation? Okay. So things like that, uh, questions like that, okay? So yung third lab exam yo, um, of course, it's the collection from first to third instructions. Yung may company kayo, yung business rule, yung ERD, yung logical design, yung physical design, tsaka lastly yung interface, Okay? So, an inter uh, uh, a screenshot of the interface, then the corresponding query command, the corresponding SQL command to display the records in that interface. Just like what I demonstrated a while ago. So, you can just have two interfaces class. Question? Reactions? Ayo. Na na ma'am, so naintindihan niya ni Acel. Sige, thank you Acel for your response. So, do not worry because this session is recorded. So, do you have something to go back if in case na amoy na limitan sa kong instructions? <coughs> Nhatching si Acel. Sige kong nana, that will be all. And please create an account in MacUp. Okay? MacUps.com. MacUps.com. Dali lang man yung sa MacUps.com actually. So the last requirement is the prototype. So I will repeat, there is no lecture exam anymore. Only presentation. Presentation will start on Tuesday. Meaning to say, dapat tapos na kayo sa document nyo by Monday. I will be posting the, the sequence of presentation by Friday. But if you would like to volunteer kasi gusto mong magbakasyon in advance, then just PM me in Blackboard. Ma'am, gusto ko ma'am ako yung first presenter ma'am para mag, ano na ako ma'am, vacation break na ako sa class mo ma'am. That is fine. So again, my line is open tomorrow, 10 a.m. Just click on the link there, the same link man lang. Tomorrow and Wednesday, my line is open. So attendance tayo if you do not have questions. Sige, Arieta is present. Michael? Yes, ma'am. Acel? Jean? Si Neil, dito to kanina. Sign out. Nawala. Uh, ano ba yung i-ano ko? Status niya. Wala lang, Mark. Absent. Fernando, of course, is present. This is absent. Christian J. Dulay, present. Gundaya is absent. Raj, of course, is present. Absent. Absent.
So I will now stop the presentation. Okay, thank you for your um, active participation class. And if you have some questions, do not hesitate to ask me. Just join the session. I'll just be online. And then this will be our last session. Last session nga nag lecture ko. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Stay safe. Ma'am, na post na tong notes, ma'am. Wala pa. Pamanta na human. Iguman sa tong session. Sige, bye bye. Thank you, G and Michael.